Hello, hi, it's Liz here and today I'm super excited. I am starting a fun project, my first collaboration. I have made many new friends in the journal world since starting my YouTube channel and one person in particular from all the way over in the States, over the big pond, um, Barbie from Nelly and Ruth Designs. Um, we've become close online friends. We exchange quite a lot of messages um, online and we've also exchanged happy mail. Um, I uh, received a beautiful package from of happy mail that I've videoed a, a month or so ago. And um, just recently, Barbie sent me a beautiful handmade wallet that our friend had made and it was packed full of gorgeous bits and bobs and I was just over the moon. So Barbie, thanks again. Um, anyway, we've decided to get together, do a collaboration. Um, I'll link Barbie's channel in the, the description box. Please go over and have a nosy. She makes some wonderful things. Um, so yeah. We support each other's channel and um, and it's just a great fun thing to do a collaboration. So we decided that we would make two journals, but Barbie being Barbie, she made both journals and she sent this one to me. How cool is this journal that she's made? So she has a very similar journal. I haven't seen her journal yet, but she tells me it's very similar to this one. So, um, and what we're going to do is we're going to have this journal and Barbie's journal that she has yo-yo back and forward over the Atlantic between America and Scotland a few times. And, um, and then we'll both have a journal to keep, which is made by both of us. So we're super excited. Um, Barbie will be filming her what she does to her pages and I'll be filming what I do to this journal. So today, so we're going to call it our yo-yo journals because they're going to yo-yo back and forward. And um, so there'll be a few videos on this um, in the future. I don't know how often because it depends on the mail and the post and how quickly we can uh, get things back and forward to each other. So yeah, so today I'm going to do the cover and maybe three, four pages, see how we get on. So the cover um, I have decided, I'm just looking at my notes here to make sure that, um, that I've covered everything because I didn't want to miss out anything in my little intro there. But I think I've got everything. Um, it's a collaboration. They're going to go back and forward. And yeah, and I'm super excited. So I'm going to do the cover today. There's already this nice um, burlap on the cover and this lovely lace. And Barbie's stitched all around there. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. I just love it to bits. So I've picked out a few extra things just to make the cover. Um, yeah. So I've got this, which is a Tim Holtz um, piece of ephemera. Um, I've fussy cut this flower from, let me, let me just show you, this sticker book. Um, I don't use it a huge, well, I do, I do sort of use it quite a lot. You can see that I've cut out. Um, what I tend to do is instead of peeling the stickers off, because they do have quite a, a big white um, border around them. Um, so it's the Botan uh, Bo Botanist Sticker Anthology. Um, and I got it on Amazon. So we'll just leave that to the side there. What I do is I just cut it out, uh, just round the bottom, and then just fussy cut a little bit so that it just looks a little less white. Um, and I've got this little Tim Holtz dialing dial there. And because this is going to be sent back and forward airmail, I thought that was quite appropriate to put on the cover um, par avion. 
think that means by airmail. And this is a Tim Holtz piece of ephemera as well. But I thought this was quite good because it says Crew Dispatcher T. Maguire. Now, OK, I'm E. Maguire. But just because it says Maguire on it, I thought I need to include that somewhere. So I think we'll just pop that somewhere. Somewhere under there, maybe. And that just uh, reflects the circle from the other side there. So maybe something like that. I also want to include a title, a, a journal title. So I'm just going to simply call it journal. <laughs> that seems to be the most sensible thing to do. So to do that, I'm going to do some stamping. I'm using my VersaFine Vintage Sepia. And I'm going to stamp on this little piece of linen. I think that'll look pretty cool up here somewhere. So to stamp, I am going to use my old typewriter alphabet stamps. And I'm just going to stamp out the word journal. I don't need my acrylic block for this. Um, now, what I normally do when I'm stamping out a word and trying to, because I don't know... If I started the jai there, I might, I might not get it in the centre. So what I do is I always write the word out and then I find the middle letter, which in the word journal is an R. And then I'm just going to lightly find the middle and I'm just going to start stamping the R there. And then that means, fingers crossed, that means that we should in theory, be central. So, oh, it also helps you with the spelling because I'm actually working backwards here, but I'm keeping that to to the side there for me to look at because it's not easy to spell backwards. <laughs> well, I don't think it is. So, I'm super excited at doing this. This is the first hour of time I've collaborated with anyone. And, um, yeah, I think it'll be fun. I'll be looking forward to, I'll once I've done, I think, probably about, do you know, that's quite annoying because that N, for some reason, looks like an H because there's a wee mark on the linen. I'm not happy with that because it looks like Durhal. I think I'll do another one. Yeah, I think I'm going to do another one. Scissors. Let's see. Just do it about the same size. I love how this linen rips, it's great. Yeah, so when when Barbie's done her, I think we're going to do about ten pages each and then we'll post it and then we'll and then we'll do and then I'll do ten pages in um in the other journal. I'm running out of space here. <laughs> right. right, let's start again. Let's see if we can not make the N look like an H this time. Yeah, so I'll do, in, in this video, I am think I'm going to do five pages. Right, that's the J. Let's start with the R. Right, in fact, let's just pay attention to what I'm doing. <laughs> right, better. Um... Yes, so I think I'm going to do about 10 pages um, over two videos. So I'll maybe do five, the cover plus four pages today. And um, then I will do another five in another video. 
change the dry there. Quite happy that it goes a little bit because then you can tell that it's been hand stamped. Yes, and then I'll do a further five, I think. And then once those pages are done, I will wrap it up, pop it in an envelope and off it will go on its journey to Barbie. And, um, and then she'll do some pages. Right, that's better. Okay, so now I want to add another little bit of something down here, I think. Oh, that was a terrible noise. Yeah, that's good. But something else, I think, because you know what? I want to use this new stamp set. I just got this the other day. How cool is this step? stamp set? This is Stampers Anonymous Eccentric CMS448. It's just brand new. There's like a million stamps. Well, maybe not a million, but lots. I'm going to put letter parcel number 95381 because that's what it's going to be. It's going to be a letter parcel. Right, and that can go there, but I think what I might do is stitch round it first and then we'll get it stuck on and then I think that can be my cover. Happy with that. So I'm just going to go and stitch round this. Hi, I'm back. That's it. Sewn on all around with a wee double border. So, cool with that. Right, let's get sticking this cover page. So, first down is this. And we'll just get this on with the white tacky glue. Do we want this is a sticker so I want to make sure I've got my background done and on the right place before I put the sticker down. Move it up a lot, but I think we'll put this on next. A few wee dabs on this. And down about there. Right now, let's see if we can get this sticker off the back. Because I've cut round it, it might not be so easy to get off. Here we go. Right, 
gentle There we are. Move that glue. Happy with that. I think I might need a little bit of glue there. Oops. There. Better. Perfect. Well, as perfect as it will be. <laughs> That's us. That's the cover. Right, let's think about what we're going to do on one, one or half of a few of the pages. So I've got a few ideas. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I want to add this um, definition of a junk journal. Ignore that because I typed, I was using my old vintage typewriter and I typed journal instead of junk journal. So we'll tear that bit off. So junk journal, and then I forgot to space. <laughs> well, this just proves that it's typed out. A handmade book of recycled materials and ephemera. The pages can be used to write, draw, paint, or record memories, thoughts, ideas, and inspiration. The junk journal can become any thing you want. <laughs> it's well seen that it was typed up and I'm not a typist so there we go <laughs> right so that's just typed up on vellum I think that's pretty cool um, and I think I want the definition near the front so I think I'm going to put the definition here and let's see a little bundle I'm going to collage up the definition um, with some of the things that it says here so recycled materials um, and ephemera so I've got a tag off of what looks like a waste paper basket I've got a piece of old wallpaper that came uh, when I bought some papers of Etsy. So I've got that. I've got another one from the botanist's book. I've got a piece of brown wrapping paper, an old piece of square paper and some handmade paper. So let's see if we can collage this up. And I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Chew. <laughs> Excuse me. I couldn't even put my hand up to put the camera off before this. I think this bit's too thick and it's very similar to the other bit, to this bit. I think I'm going to use this piece. And then I think maybe... Something like that. What do you think? I think I'm happy with that. Okay, so we don't need the ruler. 
but we need the glue and we need the glue magazine and we need to just lift off this in the order that we're going to be gluing it okay I hope Barbie likes what I'm doing in the in the journal. I hope so. I wonder if she'll watch the video or else it will be a surprise when she gets it through the post. She'll maybe keep it as a surprise and see what I've done then. What do you think? What would you do? Would you not watch this video and wait for the journal popping through the post or do you think you couldn't wait and watch it do you know i think i probably won't be able to wait i think i'll be watching barbie's video i don't know will i be able to stop myself i will i'm not sure i will be able to <laughs> This is just a fun collage of different sorts of paper. Now, do I want to stitch round this? I wonder if that glue's all right. I wonder if I can use this little bit just to see this glue show up. No, I think it'll be fine. If I just put the tiny little amount on. Now, do we want to put some twine through that, through that tag, or do we want to, here's a little bit of thing that was holding that wallpaper, we could do just that, because maybe if I put twine, oh that's cool, it would, um, It would bumpful up the page too much, I think. Bumpful, that's a good word. Okay, and this is a sticker. What do you think? Yeah? Yes, happy with that. Right, page number three. So what else should we put in a journal that's going to be swapped back and forward? Something about your home city? I think so. And that's exactly what we're going to do next. So I have this little brochure. 
these little brochures um, are in ooh, uh, shops and in um, like comedy, uh, not that's because I read that comedy, coffee places and you know the library, restaurants and it tells you what's on um, in different places and I thought this cover was really cool. So I'm going to use this cover and then I might use some of the pictures from inside. I also have this old um, encyclopedia page which has got Glasgow and I also have some vintage um, from a vintage book about Glasgow as well. There's three places there. So yeah, I think we're going to do a page about Glasgow or maybe we'll make this a double. What do you think? I think we'll make this a double and this can be page three and four. Yeah, so we're just going to I think get that off. Oh wow, look at that. Mm -hmm. I'll just tidy this up a little bit. Perfect. I think we'll have that there. And what else have I got? That's quite cool, isn't it? Let's see what other... Because I, I went through this and I thought there was quite nice little... Yes. Let me just take out... Here's... Here's the necropolis. Which is the famous graveyard. Let me use these little scissors. If you've seen Batman, the new Batman, at the very, very end of the film where he's on his motorbike, he drives through this graveyard. It's quite spooky looking. So let's just move that out of the way. So we're going to put that on that page and then I think we'll have that as a background and we'll maybe just do a little easy collage. Here's one, Kelvin Grove, which is the art gallery and museum. Whoops. <laughs> Which is quite famous. It's got the the famous um Dali picture, which is actually out on loan at the moment. So there's Kelvin Grove. What else have we got? There's the university. That's quite a big picture. Edinburgh? No. Not Edinburgh. Glasgow, please. <laughs> and here's uh, I didn't know this existed, a zine library, you know the little zine magazine, little mini zines that you make? We've got a library where you can um, donate your little zines, look, you could make a little crafty zine and you can donate it and somebody will, somebody will borrow it and, uh, and look at it. Right, so let's see, before I get more, so there's the necropolis and the art gallery. Maybe something like that. And then I've got this 
moved it up at the door from the inside cutter here. Largest city port in Scotland, lying on the Clyde. Yeah, that's right. Right, and we've got these. How am I going to cut these out? Let's just see if we can I might not use these, this might just look odd. <laughs> now I need the words to go with it. That's the memorial in Queen's Park commemorating the Battle of Langside in 1568, which was fatal to the cause of Mary, Queen of Scots. So let's just get what that's about. So that's that. In Glasgow Green. And here's, we could do this one. This has got the words in a better place. The crown steeple of the former 17th century Tolbooth, uh, which portrayed Rob Roy. I'm going to have to fiddle with this for a bit. Right, that, and then that. Something like that, maybe? What do you think? Because I still want to see that that card is the bookshop. I'm going to go for it. Right. Where is my glowy magazine? It's here. I'm running out of space. <laughs> okay. Let's get this down. I'll use the glue stick for this one. So after this one, I think we'll do one more page. them roughly, roughly where they should be. I want to 
from this page. And just as I turn the page, I blew all them over. <laughs> Who knows where those bits will end up? That's for sure. On the page somewhere. Right, I wanted this in the centre. And I want the gallery just in behind, so I'll just get this down. Next. Maybe Barbie will do a page about where she's from. That would be interesting when it comes. We can read all about her part of, of America. Yeah. This looks okay. Down there. Down there wins it. pages about Glasgow. Well, one page about Glasgow and another page as the cover of that little magazine. So we've done the cover, the definition of a junk journal and two pages Glasgow. So the next thing that uh, Barbie and I have in common is we have a dog. Well, Barbie has two dogs and maybe she'll do a page on our two dogs, but we have one dog. And you will often hear me talking about Millie, Millie the Rescue Greyhound. And I have gathered, whoops, some bits. I have my stamp set of greyhounds and I managed to find this in a book an old vintage book of how to draw and it shows you how to draw a greyhound and this plate here is a greyhound too I also have this cute this isn't a greyhound but you know <laughs> it's a nice little colourful illustration of some couple of kids with a with a dog and I just thought that was pretty nice so let's see if we can do a page with the greyhound right, let's see what page I'm going to have to stick these stickers down with glue I think on that sticker down Let's see, a greyhound page. Will we do? A little half page. Mm, that looks quite good. Oh, it's good on the brown, isn't it? 
wonder if we should do it on the brown there. I think I'll get rid of this curly bit. to use this this paper is quite thick from this book this is actually oh I took off the head of the forgot that was on the back Well, that's a shame. Where is his head? Oh, there it's there. That's just a tiny wee bit. I can maybe stick it when I when I use that. I'll keep that together. Oops. Oops. Yes, these pages came from a charity shop. And what this charity shop does is instead of say selling really old books um, in one you know as the book as is the woman tears out lots of pages and makes up I've never known any charity shop to do this before and makes up a bundle of pages to sell at for junk journalers she must she must have a connection to somebody who does it or has I don't know I don't know but you go in and there's a basket and, um, and the, the bundles are tied together with little bits of twine and um, and they've pulled out a mixture of this is where I got this as well there was a bundle of children's illustrations um, in amongst one of the bundles and I thought, ooh, quite fancy that. Now, it's not terribly cheap. They're charging five pounds for a bundle of vintage papers. But if you bought four or five bo old books, maybe, you could easily spend that amount. Some of the charity shops are quite wise. What I've, I've woke up to the fact that people are buying these old books, I think. Right. Let's tidy it up a wee bit. Millie's sleeping on the sofa at this very moment as we speak. She's been out her walk. It's quite showery today, so she's happy to stay in. She was out all day yesterday. We were entertaining. Yesterday, my niece was here, is here from New Zealand. And they're Based, they based themselves through in Edinburgh for three days so they come through to Glasgow for one day and later on today they're going back down to London on the train to go then go on the Eurotunnel to Paris <laughs> I don't know I don't know what do you think mm. Does that just look too odd? I'm trying to visualise it. What if I cut out the greyhound? Hmm. If the greyhound was cut out... What 
thought about we just layer it up totally instead of trying to keep it a bit separate and the greyhound is just in the background there. I think we'll do that. Yeah. Now, where's my stamp set? And it's there, under the book. Now, do we want... Maybe we want just some, some paws. Maybe some paws here. And maybe this little, this little seam. Maybe. Yeah. Let's, let's stamp on. Well, look at that. London and Glasgow. Let's stamp on this. Let's leave the book to the side and get the stamp set out. So this is clearly stamped by Hunky Dory and it's the Dog's Biscuits. Now, I have had this for many, many, many years. Here's a little saying. Blessed is the person who has earned the love of a dog. A house without a dog is not a home. Which one are they? I think we'll do the house without a home. And then we'll maybe do some some um, paw prints. We'll keep with our sepia, I think. Let's see how Hmm, it's a bit splodgy. Let's not lean as hard this time. That's better. Right. Yeah. Let's do some stitching. I don't want to use that. It's out my new set. Let's do some stitching round this and this and this. Yes. And then I'll be back. Righty ho, I have stitched round and added a little bit of zigzag to that little piece. So uh, I think we were thinking something like this. Yeah. What you think? Keep asking you what you think and you're not replying. <laughs> I think that will do. That will do nicely. I'm not sure that we'll do the paw prints. It's, it's a little bit cutesy as it is without making it more cutesy. <laughs> yeah. So this is going this way. About there. Then this piece here. Uh, 
And then this piece on here. Let me hold it up and have a look at it. Yes, happy with that. I've got a napkin on my fingers. <laughs> right, so journal. Definition, two pages, the dog page is three pages and the Glasgow is four and five. So yeah, I'm happy to have done five pages in the collaboration with Barbie at really, uh, Nelly and Ruth Designs and um, yeah. so. I'm just going to put this because this clearly isn't sticking. There we are. That's it. That's better. So, yeah. So, please check out um, Barbie's channel and she will have her collaboration video up soon if it's not up already. And um, uh, have a look see what Barbie's done. And um, she'll be doing her pages and send in the journal to me and I'll be doing a more five more pages in this at another point another day and then it will get posted off so yeah thanks for joining me today um, it's been a wee bit longer than usual I think um, so uh, yeah a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and I'll see you next time bye for now